Hey there, Gemini. This is Renee. Welcome back. Gemini, this is going to be a general reading, so we'll jump right into it. Let's get some energy for Gemini. What's going on? Okay, we have failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. Okay. And we have self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. So Gemini, I feel like you may be working on something. You may be throwing a few things at the wall to kind of see what sticks. I totally understand. I'm going through a certain kind of situation to where I'm trying to learn new things about my channel and how to bring you great content and um, other things that are offered by my channel. So I totally understand where you're coming from. And I've had a lot of failures and a lot of learning from those challenges. And I'm building up my confidence and creating good things for you. So I totally understand, you know, you know, working through this situation. We also have self-worth. Okay. So I feel like you're trying to find how you feel about certain situations and destiny. Beautiful, Gemini. I feel like you're working on things that are going to promote your life, your skills, you know, the things that you're working on. You're bringing a lot of manifestations to life right now, okay? Let's take a look at the tarot. See what's going on with Gemini. Let's see what's going on with Gemini. Sun, Moon, and Rising, Venus. Okay, we have the Eight of Cups. Wow, the High Priestess. And we have the King of Pentacles. Okay. Move everything into view. There we go. Okay, Gemini. Oh, the Will of Fortune. The Ace of Wands. And the Seven of Pentacles. Just like I was feeling, I feel like you're working on something. You're working on something that's very important to you. And you're trying to like throw things against the wall to see what sticks. Uh, you're looking at new opportunities, new um, creative ideas that are coming towards you at the moment. Um, I feel like you have a lot of ambition, a lot of strive. I feel like it's very exciting and you're very enthusiastic. You're trying to adapt to this change, all the change that's around you. And I feel like you're taking those situations and you're walking away from the things that don't fit, the things that aren't bringing you um, new possibilities. Okay, but I feel like there's going to be one idea that's going to stick, that's going to hold, that you're going to be able to walk into your Nine of Cups moment with. Okay, and I feel like you have a need to trust yourself, to trust your situation, trust your intuition, because a lot of things may be seen. But I feel like at this moment, you are limitless to your ideas. Okay, you are limitless to the opportunities that are ahead of you because I feel like there are so many valuable ideas that you have that are going to bring you wealth, stability, you know, that's going to be successful for you. Okay, so I feel like there's a lot of success in your future, um, especially in the month of March. I feel like you're fully focused on what you need to focus on. You're fully focused on change, on uh, taking advantage of the possibilities, okay? Creating new ideas 
and putting active focus. You know, you're taking action on some ideas, which is turning this wheel in your favor, Gemini. It is uh, bringing out new possibilities, new creations, and you're able to adapt to whatever those situations are. Because I feel like, you know, Gemini, now, now let me tell you, you are the most adaptable sign in the astrology. Simply, um, maybe because you're the twin, you know, ha you have this two sides to you. You know, um, I'm a Gemini son, so I, I constantly am telling people, you know, sometimes I have to put my twin in the closet because it's a little overbearing sometimes. You know, sometimes she likes to take the scene. She likes to take control of the situation. And I'm like, sometimes I need to hide her in the closet because, you know, sometimes she kind of takes control. And so I totally understand this situation because I feel like whatever this is, you're trying to be the best you can. You're trying to work things out so that, you know, this change that you're going through and this new beginning, this new venture is going to be very prosperous. It's going to bring you a high threshold of wealth. You know, so I feel like there's some things that you're trying to master. You're trying to figure out a lot of things. Whatever is not clear, I feel like you are working through those ideas until you finally get it. OK, you are. Trying to work out where you're going to go in your destiny. Look at this. Underneath, we have quest. You're going on a quest to find your destined situation. Okay? So, yes, Gemini. You got this, though. You're very intelligent. You're very smart. You can push through any situation and come out on top. You know, just be your beautiful self, Gemini. Okay? Uh, let's get some clarity on these cards. I don't see any love here, but I do see new beginning and change. So, um, there may be some sort of situation that will bring in new love, if that's what you're looking for. So, let's go ahead and clarify. Let's see uh, what else Spirit wants to tell us about this situation. Okay, we have the Nine of Swords. We have the Five of Cups, the Three of Cups, the Five of Swords, the Death card, and the Ten of Swords. Wow. Okay. At the bottom, we have the Magician. So, okay, here's the thing, Gemini. You are manifesting happiness. You are manifesting a destined situation it's not going to be without its struggles because look at this you have new beginnings arising you have support you have strength you have love on your side you know you're going to celebrate the situation you're not going to sit back and wallow in fear and doubt you're going to work through those situations and you are going to find your happiness because you know that happiness is created within yourself okay happiness starts with you okay it doesn't start with someone else it doesn't start outside of yourself happiness starts within you okay so let's take a look at these cards okay so we have the eight of cups with the nine of swords so, Gemini, I feel like, you know, there may be things that you're letting go of, but I feel like, you know, you're in so much doubt sometimes because you feel like I worked so hard on the situation. I worked so hard and it's just not coming through. It's not making a difference, but it is. You have this one cup, this one great idea, this one 
object to put your total focus on. So there's no need to worry. There's no need to be in doubt because you have something to focus on. Okay. Um, with the high priestess, we have the high priestess and the five of cups. So, you know, there's three cups down here and I feel like those three cups have spilled, but you have these two cups ready, you know, ready and able to, you know, walk into your paradise. You're taking some ideas, some kind of situation with you. And now you just need to trust the process. You need to trust that all will be well because you still have these full cups. These cups may be filled with champagne. These cups are just filled with wine. Okay. So I feel like you know, there's a need to believe in yourself, even when you're going through those struggling times. There's a need to lift yourself up, support yourself in the situation, find support in the situation, but you will gain your stability. You will gain your uh, abundance through the ideas that you're carrying forward with you. Okay, because I feel like there are a lot of ideas you have and now you just need to carry those forward and let those ideas be fully supported with action and nurturing. Okay, there's some things that you need to nurture to make better before you put it out there into the world. And now see, we have the, the Wheel of Fortune with the Five of Swords. So this change, at times it's going to feel like a struggle. At times it's going to feel like there's a lot of things against you while you're going through this change. But this is good fortune. Don't get it wrong. This is a positive card. You have positivity on your side. So don't second guess yourself. Okay, um, this card also can represent victory. You know, he's chasing these wolves away with these swords. You know, he's not being defeated here. Okay, and we have the Ace of Wands with the Death card. Okay, don't be scared of the Death card. The Death card is transformation and change. And the Ace of Wands is a new beginning. So, you know, after this new beginning, I feel like, you know, something is transforming. Something is changing shape. It's evolving or adapting to this new change, this new beginning here. Something is going to make you more enthusiastic, um, more adaptable, more... Um, ready to take action okay this you know what this has a lot to do with work because I, I feel like you know there may be some things that you're working on at work and you're trying to figure things out you're trying to figure out whatever this opportunity is okay um and with this eight of pentacles i feel like you're mastering something you're trying to master you're trying to learn and train on something new and i feel like the old you is like going south it's like done and over with you're emerging this master this you know you're no longer the apprentice you're emerging the master of whatever this is that you're doing so i feel like you're gaining a lot of hands-on experience from whatever this is. And I'm actually going to get a little bit more clarity for these cards because I feel like it's needed at the moment. Okay. So tell me more. Let's clarify again. Tell me more about this situation. Yeah. What did I say? The Empress, the Three of Swords, the Fool. The Two of Wands, the World, and the Four of Pentacles. Okay, Gemini. 
Now look. The Empress, she's the master manifester. You're manifesting something very incredible in your life. And you feel like it may not be possible. But there is a new beginning ahead of you. There is something that you'll want to take a leap of faith. Okay? And just take the leap and not worry about where the destination leads you. Because the destination is going to lead you into prosperity. You just have to be patient and do the work and let the time worry about itself. Okay? Because I feel like it's coming. You just need to be patient and um, let the universe do the work. Okay? And I feel like whatever the situation is, you're able to make better choices. You're able to think about the future. Think about where you want things to go. Uh, think about, you know, what goals you have completed already and what goals you have next. Okay, I feel like there's there's some goals and achievements here that you are completing and may not even realize it. But you are on the verge of success. Okay, and I feel like there's a lot of prosperity here for you. you you're going to be able to balance um, your finances more successfully. There's longevity here. There's something that is long lasting. Okay, this is long-term success that's coming in for you. So I, I feel like this is not a job. This is definitely not a job. This is a career, okay? This is something that you love, that you're putting in a lot of love and effort into, and you are building something up. It may be that you're building up a business, you're, or maybe you're turning a hobby into some kind of successful venture. But I feel like whatever it is that you're manifesting, you're manifesting wealth and abundance. Now you just need to let the universe do its work and, you know, bring that prosperity into your reality. Okay? Let's get an outcome for Gemini. Okay, we have the Two of Swords. The Knight of Pentacles. Ooh, and the <laughs> and the Knight of Swords. Wow. Look what we have on the bottom. The Ace of Pentacles. This is new love coming in. Or a new new venture that you are going to love. It's prosperity pouring over. Okay? This is abundance. You know, your cup is runneth over okay this is the possibilities so i feel like the possibilities are very big there's going to be a lot of choices that you need to make in order to bring this whatever this is that you're manifesting into reality but i feel like once you make that choice once you get the ball rolling i feel like it's going to come in very quickly the knight of wands is very fast action you know you're not sitting by waiting for things to happen you're taking action you're taking the first step okay and the knight of swords this is coming in with a uh, very fierce energy okay so i feel like once the ball gets to rolling i feel like it is gonna snowball you know and it's going to come in very quickly Okay, so let's get an angel card for Gemini. What does Gemini need to know, Spirit? I don't see any love in this reading, but in a way, I'm not seeing that you may be looking for love at this time. I feel like you're more ambitious and you're more focused on your pinnacles at the moment. Um, so... I'm really seeing this as more, it, it is a general reading. You can place it in your life wherever it run, resonates. But I feel like this is, this is career and finance through and through, okay? Okay, so let's get an angel card. 
We have black out distractions. Your life purpose and other priorities need your undivided attention. So it's time for you to take charge of your schedule and working commitments by turning off electronics and avoiding anyone or anything that distracts you from what's important. You already know what these distractions are and you have the power to responsibly block them out. Okay, so what is distracting you from your abundance, Gemini? Um, that's something that you need to ask yourself. What's blocking you from manifesting what it is you want in your life? Let's get a manifestation monology card. Let's see what that has to say for you. See, we got a few of them. Okay, we have full moon in Scorpio. Breathe through the tension. Yeah, it looks like there, there's going to be some challenges. There's going to be some struggles. But I feel like you are going to be able to find your balance. You know, don't be taken off your guard here, okay? And know your worth, Gemini. You are priceless. Look at this. We have self-worth here and know your worth. You know, you are priceless, Gemini. Okay. So, okay, what we're going to do, we're going to take an angel number and see what that number represents for you. Okay? So, what angel number do we have for Gemini? We have... 1414 possibilities building strong foundations creates stability and welcomes in possibilities all possibilities exist and are amplified when gratitude is felt for the foundations that are in place your affirmation gemini i am grateful for all that is and all that will be I trust in the possibilities of what I desire or something greater. Okay, Gemini, if this, um, if you made it this far, go ahead and put in the comment section 1414, okay? And um, if you'd like, you can say, you know, I trust in the possibilities of what I desire or something greater. Okay, so that is your reading, Gemini. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more messages that may give you a clear picture of what's going on. Okay, and until your next reading, Gemini, many blessings to you. Love and light.